Just got done with float number 10. Last night I met met someone and uh, his high school coach, his assistant, used to be a star at the high school I went to, Caledonia. So, 1997, that was when Caledonia won its basketball state championship. And I was like six years old at the time, six or seven. And I remember in the stands watching, and it's funny how things work in life. Um, at six years old, I didn't know exactly what a mentor was. I, I didn't know what that word was. I didn't know even what that meant. But I knew that when I looked at this particular person, for whatever reason, I looked up to him because he was a dominant force on the basketball court. He was huge, you know, muscular. You know, was just physically dominating on the court. That person is, that person was Andy Foster. I mean, six seven. He played at Northern State under Don Meyer, and uh, but that was the assistant coach that this uh, this guy that I met. So that being said, my origin story, kind of like what. I think about from time to time is why do I want to inspire? Why do I want to guide? Why do I want to be the best I can be so I can help others? It, a lot of it stems from that moment of looking at him because I remember thinking like he was some magical superhero. Like he just could do whatever he wanted you know, physically on that court, and that was awe-inspiring. That was something that, I mean, I would tell my mom, and she she would tell you too, she, I, I was going to watch him play, like it was his team, because he was the guy that physically was dominant. Now, they had great players, a lot of great players on that team, but that was the one at age six, I was like, I wish that guy would come teach me how to do things. I wish I could learn from him. I wish he was almost like my big brother, you know, stuff like that. Um, I've never really said this to anybody except last night when I was talking to those people. Um, great people. I'm just not naming them, which is fine. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the origin story of where it all started for me as far as my journey to becoming a leader, a coach, a mentor, uh, you know, it, that moment, I can remember exactly where I was in the old high school. I can remember at, at the state game where I was, and that's, uh, you know, all that stuff is, is great to reflect on, because if I felt like that as a little kid, looking up to somebody... That might happen with me, and I might not even know it, because this is the first time. It's not like I've told Andy Foster that this is, that happened. And so you don't know who you're inspiring. You don't know who, who you're possibly impacting. And sometimes... It's just insane. It's just crazy how, how the world works. How I met that person last night. And they're like, yeah, he would love to hear that. But it's like anybody would love to hear that. So that's what got me on today talking about that. For me, it's powerful because that's something I can, I can f physically feel and go back in my mind when I was that little kid. And growing up as, you know, I had a great family, um, the mental part of my growing up part was very, you know, insecure, not really liking my body. I was chubbier, um, scared to take my shirt off when we played shirts and skins. But I remember back when I was six, like I felt like, man, when I get older, I want to be able to help some people out because I never got that from someone that I looked up to like that. It, I thought, like, that's what I'm going to do. Because I felt like... And I can rem that's what I felt when I was six. I didn't know what it all meant. 
but that I can remember feeling like that. So, Andy Foster, this is uh, this is for you because you know from what uh, the Fullers were talking about, it felt like the right thing to do, and you know hopefully there's uh, there's many more of these type of stories that come in 20 some years for another kid, you know, that inspires them to uh, continue and be the best that they can be, so. This world is beautiful, life is beautiful, and uh, you just gotta look for the opportunity, so. That's my little spiel. Um, Coach G, I'm out.